This is Japanese uni. Here in the US, we call it sea urchin. There are many different kinds. However, this one right here is straight from Japan. To be specific, from Hokkaido. And it was given to me by Master Sushi Chef Hiro. He had one request for me to dry age steaks with it. This is gonna cost a pretty penny. Because take a look at the true star of today's show. It is a Japanese Wagyu A5 ribeye. If you love beef, this is as good as it gets. Now to dry age this beautiful steak with it, here's what I did. First, I laid down a good amount right on top. And since uni is so soft, I just grabbed the spatula and started spreading the whole thing on top of the steak. As you can see, this is almost like butter, so it takes no effort at all. And the smell that is coming out of it is wonderful. Everyone that smelled it says the same exact thing. It's like you're in the beach and quite pleasant. Now here's the deal with uni. It has a lot of umami. You see, us human, we can taste five things. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. And uni is full of it. So my hope is that even though this is the best steak in the world, uni is going to make it better. Because once I was done ensuring that the whole Japanese Wagyu A5 steak was fully covered with it, this is what I was left with. Probably one of the most expensive experiments of my life and one that has never been done before. As now the only thing left to do is to put it on my dry ager and wait for a total of 7 days. Once the time was up, I took it out and take a look. Everything has completely changed. You can clearly see that the uni is no longer uni. And it actually had a good effect on the steak. Because take a closer look. Nothing has been oxidized. Now like every dry aging experiment, the first thing to do is to remove the unnecessary stuff. And since the uni did its job already, it's time to get it out. Using a tweezer first, then a fillet knife, that allowed me to go ahead and scrape it out. Now one of the things that you can experience is the smell. You're probably thinking this probably smell fishy. No, 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 no. It smells wonderful. But not until I discovered the bottom. Take a look at this. Nothing was really dry aged in here. And the smell of this one is not as pleasant. But hey, here we are and I still have high hopes. Because once I was done cleaning the whole steak, this is what I was left with. The world's first uni Japanese Wagyu A5 dry age. It seems like it was a punching bag from Mike Tyson. I don't understand why some parts are brown and the other parts are red. If you do, let us know in the comments. Now one of the things you cannot experience was the fat. This was like melting butter. As you can see, the outer crust still had a little bit of uni left. So I made the decision to go ahead and remove all the unnecessary stuff. I really wanted this steak to have the best experience. Because once I was done cleaning the whole thing up, this is what I had left. Even though it's much smaller, every bite should be perfect. That is what you're looking for whenever you're cooking high quality steaks like this. Perfectly trimmed and ready to be grilled. However, we have to compare it with something else. For that, I brought on another Japanese Wagyu A5. Putting them side by side, you can really tell the differences. I have no idea what's about to happen, but I can honestly tell you one thing. I cannot wait to find out which one is gonna be better, and most importantly, if the only dry age experiment is actually worth it. Because the only thing left is to go ahead and get them seasoned. For that, I wanted to keep it real simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and nothing else. This will allow us to really taste the flavor of the steak. And I'm hoping it's gonna be real good. But just in case it's not, I decided to make an incredible side dish for us. And this is Chef Hero's Japanese potato salad recipe. And to make it, it is quite easy and here's how. The first thing you wanna do is to slice up some cucumbers real thin. Once that's done, add in a little bit of salt followed by water and let it sit for a little bit because the whole goal of doing this is to extract as much moisture from it as possible. Similar thing happens with an onion and the key with this one is to wash it really good. Now what this does is remove all the bitterness. For the carrots you just want to boil it until you are happy with the consistency because the next step is to go ahead and boil some potatoes. Once they're done grab your spoon and smash them up. Season it with salt and pepper and mix it well. Now into the bowl you want to combine the carrots followed by the extremely dried cucumbers, a tiny bit of that washed and dried onions as well and some prosciutto ham. Mix everything and combine these ingredients together because the next one is really important. We're talking about Japanese mayo. If you never had this, I'll tell you one thing. It's more savory, it has more umami flavor and quite delicious. So after spreading a good amount, I mixed it well once again because in the end, I was left with this Japanese potato salad. I finished it up with a little bit of freshly ground black pepper on top as this is today's side dish. And I cannot wait to find out how good it's gonna be with the steaks. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and grill them. Now since these steaks are very fatty, you gotta pay extra attention. That's because they're gonna flare up real good. So first, I'll be putting a nice wonderful sear. Once 
once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until they reach an internal temperature of 135. Because now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to grill some beautiful steaks. So let's do it. Alright everybody, here we got our beautiful steak, my good friend oh. Hiro. Ah, you yeah. asked me for this, Hiro. Yes. Uh, we finally have it. Yes. <laughs> you have no idea what's happening. Well, I have some idea. I almost got kicked off the last video, so I have some idea what's happening. <laughs> Very good. So we all know what kind of this thing is, right? Oh, but yeah. we have two steaks. They don't know which steak is which. And uh, obviously, yeah, to honor you, Chef Hiro, I made you a potato salad. How does it look? Oh, it looks so perfect. Oh, thank you, Hiro. <laughs> it looks like uh, my recipe. <laughs> it is 100% yeah. your recipe. Oh. We're gonna give this a try too, and you tell me if it's different from yours okay. or not. Sounds sure. like a plan? Sure. But right now, I'm starving. I say we start. Let's go for it. Okay, oh. please, dig in, everybody. Japanese Wagyu A5, as you can see. Oh, man. You had Japanese Wagyu A5 in Japan before? I did it. I have a, never a chance to go. You never tried it for... Actually, you need to come to Japan, then we need to go try. Please, Hiro. Yes. yes. Take me to yeah. Japan. It's on my bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to try that uh, in the Kobe, in the uh, Kobe beef. We have to do yeah. it together. Yes. We're going to find out together how good it is yeah. from uh, the American style. First steak. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, oh wow. I like butter. So juicy. <laughs> this never gets old. <laughs> There's a steak hierarchy, right? Mm. It's well done steaks all the way at the bottom. <laughs> then we got good steaks great steaks, and then there's Japanese Wagyu. Oh, it does yeah. not get better than that. Ridiculously tender, so juicy, so soft. As soon as it hits your tongue, just absolutely melts away completely. There is zero resistance when you take a bite. It just goes in and juices oozes out, everybody. That's how it works. And then the flavor is so intense, it stays yeah. in your mouth, right? Delicious, I'm telling you. How do you describe this, Hiro? Like a toro. Toro is like a tuna, the fatty yeah, part of the fanny. Of, yeah. Mm, it's similar. Uh, toro on the run. <laughs> <laughs> so that was delicious. We yep, all agree? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yep. I say we do the honors now, Hero, and I want you to judge my take on your side dish, yeah? I know we always refer to the side dishes as a palate cleanser. Yeah. I really don't want my palate cleansed right now. Uh, <laughs> I could still taste that A5 Wagyu and... Yeah, you don't want to clean it? Not yet. Very good. Let's give it a try, side dish. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Ooh. Mm. That is nice. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Hiro. It's good? Mm -hmm. Wow. You did a very good job with this one. Of course, the meat too, but it's good. <laughs> Which one is better, the meat or the potato salad? Combination. Combination, there Balance. you go. Balance, yes. Bro, oh, like this, like. <laughs> yeah. It has a little tangy because of the kopi mayo. It leaves a wonderful taste in your mouth. What do you think, Leo? I love this side dish so much. I think the hot and cold combination with the steak and this potato salad combines perfectly. It's very delicious. Like you're saying, it is a little bit tangy. It is more savory, I think, than a normal uh, potato salad, which personally I love. And I think there's some veggies here. I don't know if it's like cucumber or something. Yeah. It gives it a little hint of, of lightened freshness that just brings it all together. It's absolutely perfect. I love this. Very good. That's, I say we go in for the second steak because I'm excited. You guys ready? Dig in, Hiro. Let's go. Jump in. Now I must say, this one feels just as standard. Perfectly medium wear as well. Oh, here it went already. Oh. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> <gasps> that is incredible. That's really good, everybody. I'm not gonna lie, that's really good. I know that this is the uni dry age, and you can tell that it did definitely absorb some of those uni flavors. It doesn't tastes tremendously like uni, but you do have a little bit of the, the subtle hints of it. And I do get a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of saltiness. It's 
incredible. I don't know if you guys saw the dry edge experiment that I did with MSG, which is squeezes my cheek when I was chewing the MSG dry age. This one is doing the same exact thing. Did you enjoy that flavor in your mouth or oh, no? Yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah, I like it. Which one do you like better? The control one or the second one? I like uni one. Uni one, uh, I'm in agreement, you. Me too, it's the uni. So let's make it official here. Which one is better? Uni. Uni. Only dry age is better, everybody. <laughs> anyway, guys, these are the results. Thank you so yeah. much for coming, Hiro. Thank you for giving me the only to give it a try. This was an amazing experiment, and this would have never happened if Hiro did not give me that only, everybody. Highly recommend you going checking out his channel. I'm gonna put it on the description down below. Not only is he a wonderful friend, but an amazing chef. Go check him out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.